Is it time to add a motorized roller blind to your SmartThings setup? If so, are the Zemi Smart Blinds worth the investment? Are they compatible with SmartThings? I'll be tackling these questions and more in today's episode. Hi, I'm Bud. Welcome to Bud's Home Automation. I'm a YouTube creator who enjoys researching and installing smart home devices for the SmartThings and Alexa apps. I also create automation solutions with a focus on products which are compatible with SmartThings and Alexa. In today's review, I'm reviewing the Zemi Smart Blackout Roller Shade. This is a smart window blind that comes equipped with a rechargeable Zigbee motor. Zemi Smart reached out to me to do this review and they were kind enough to send me this unit. They also agreed to supply me with an optional solar panel. The blind is made of polyester fabric. It is a full blackout blind. It's offered in white, beige, gray, and dark gray. The sample shade that I received is dark gray. The shades are offered in widths between 60 and 150 centimeters, which translates to 24 to 59 inches. The length is standard at 178 centimeters or 70 inches. The blind is equipped with a wireless operated tubular motor that is powered by a rechargeable built-in lithium ion battery. The battery is rated for over 500 up-down cycles on a single charge. Zemi Smart's documentation states that its blinds work with Google Home, Amazon Echo, Broadlink, and other Zigbee capable hubs. Before you begin installing your blind, you must charge the blind motor. The blind motor will receive a full charge in approximately four hours. My blind was delivered with a 10-foot charging cord, which has a standard USB on one end and a micro USB on the other. Zemi Smart did not provide a power brick, so I used my camera's USB power brick to charge my blind's battery. While the blind was charging, I anchored the provided blind mounts to my wall. I mounted my blind directly behind my existing curtain rod. The mount over here is in a stud. I wanted to have this in roughly the same spot for balance on this side, so I used the anchor and just put it in the drywall on this side. You see at the bottom, those are spring clips. So to hang this up, you just first insert the blind channel, as you see in the back here, the blind channel goes in that, on that top part of the clip, and then you can just snap it in place. So it's very easy to take down and up. So that side's on, and let's just snap that in place. And then you can slide it left to right when it's in there to kind of center it. And that easy, it's mounted. There's ample clearance between the rod and the blind when the blind is fully opened in the top position. The roller blind is fully concealed from view when the curtain is placed on the curtain rod. With the mounting clips in place, let's now log in to the SmartThings account where I'll show you how to install the custom device type handler for the Zemi Smart Zigbee blind. Okay, let's go ahead and look at how to add this custom device handler to your SmartThings account. So first thing you wanna do is sign in to your SmartThings account. That is at account.smartthings.com. So go ahead and sign in. Okay, once you're in there, you wanna click on My Locations so that and select your home location and then you'll go to my device handlers now you're going to see that i've already has this uh, custom device handler added to my list here you see it here xinjiang semi smart zigbee blind but i'm going to show you the steps on how to get that set up and, and by the way i will also leave links to the raw code if you just want to copy and paste that in if you're more comfortable in doing that. I've done that in previous videos. 
you can do it that way as well. So to start off, first thing we're going to do is go into settings and we have to add a new repository. And let me say, by the way, I'm going to cancel out of here and let you know that if if you've never added a repository before and you don't have a GitHub account, you're going to have to create a GitHub account. You can go to github.com and you simply click sign up, sign up for GitHub and then follow the prompts. There is a point, I believe, where it asks you to uh, subscribe for a paid subscription. If you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you can just ignore that and go on past that. There's no need to pay for a subscription in order to get uh, the device handler code from the GitHub repository. Uh, if you need to enable GitHub integration, you haven't done that in the past, there is an article, and I'll leave a link to this article on how to enable that integration. So with that out of the way, let's go back to device handlers. I'm going to show you how to uh, be able to connect to that GitHub repository. So you go to settings and we're going to add a new repository. And what we're going to type in here is Shin 4299. You see, I've already got this added up here. So in this field, you're going to type a capital X. It's Xiaomi, I think that's how it's pronounced, Xiaomi SJ. So X-I-A-O-M-I, -I, capital S-J. So that's what you would do, and you would hit save. Since I've already have this set up in here, I'm not going to hit save. I'm just going to cancel out of there, but you would hit save. And the next thing we want to do is make note of the name of this device handler. It's Zemi Smart Zigbee Blind. The reason I'm asking you to do that is because it's not going to show up in my list when I do update from repo. So you'll click on update from repo and then you'll select the appropriate repository which is Xiaomi SJ that we just added in settings. Click on that and then in this list of device types you're going to see one that says Xinjiang Zemi Smart Zigbee Blind. So that's what you're going to be looking for. Again, it doesn't show up in my list because I've already have that device type installed. When you find that device type, again, Xinjiang Zemi Smart Zigbee Blind, you're going to click on the checkbox right next to that device type, hit publish, and then execute update. So I already have this installed, so I'm just going to cancel out. But you would select the device type, hit publish, execute update. When you do that, you should find the device showing up in your device list that looks just like this. Um, and you can go in and look at the code. This is the raw code that we've pasted in in the past if you've watched my channel. So when you paste in raw code, you just hit save, publish, and for me. And you'll get a confirmation that the device type was published successfully. Go back to my device handlers and again it should be showing up in your list and it should look just like this and it should say published so make sure it says published and that's all there is to it you've now installed the custom device type handler with the device handler installed you can now add the blind to your smart things app first you must place the blind into pairing mode to place the blind into pairing mode, you must tap on the programming button rapidly four times and then hold the button down on the fifth tap. You'll note that a red light flashes each time you tap the programming button. While holding the button down on the fifth tap, you'll see a green light appear and then begin to flash. You'll also see the blind motor jog forward and back to confirm that pairing has started. You can release the programming button at this point and then tap on the scan for nearby devices command within your SmartThings app. Shortly after you begin scanning, the green pairing light will stop flashing and the blind will jog a second time as confirmation that the blind was paired successfully. Now this is where I got a little stumped during the initial setup. Although the blind motor was supposedly paired, my SmartThings app stated that there were no devices found. 
Okay, so to program, we first need to scan for devices. So I'm gonna do this and I'm going to select devices and scan nearby. With it scanning, I'm gonna put this one, two, three, four, and hold on the fourth time. See the flashing green light? Means it's in pairing mode. And it says no devices found. So at this point, I signed into my SmartThings account to see if the blind was present under the devices tab. I did not see my Zigbee blind in the list, but I did find a new device called Thing under the My Devices tab. Once you have paired your blind, you need to log into your SmartThings IDE at account.smartthings.com, click on the My Devices tab, find the new device called Thing in the devices list, click on the device called Thing, and then click Edit. In the Edit screen, you want to change the name of the device from Thing to Blind then add the word blind in the field provided for the label name. You want to leave the Zigbee ID and the device network ID as is. Now change the device type handler to ZemiSmart Zigbee Blind, which is the name of the custom device handler that we added. Assign the appropriate hub and group. Now once these device changes are saved in the SmartThings IDE, you should get a confirmation message from your Amazon Connected Voice Assistant confirming that the blind was now added. You may now go back into the SmartThings app to finish the blind setup. Now before attempting to operate your blind with the SmartThings app, you must first populate the settings section. Start with the settings that I give you, then if you discover the blind is working in reverse, meaning that the blind opens when you tap the close button, then you simply need to reverse the settings. To access the blind settings, open your SmartThings app and tap on the blind device, then tap on the ellipsis in the upper right hand corner. Now tap on settings and enter the following values. Please note that the blind motor will jog after you save each setting value to confirm that this setting was changed. Set preset position to 50. Please note that you must delete the set value and enter it again in order to enable the save button. Set direction set to forward. Set replace open and close commands to replace. Set app opening closing change to forward. This changes the direction of the blind in the SmartThings app. Set RC opening and closing change to reverse. This changes the direction of the blind on the remote control. Now test your blind's operation using the app and echo commands. Make necessary changes in your SmartThings app settings. With the blind set up in your SmartThings and Alexa apps, now you can set your blind's upper and lower limits. The blind can be programmed for up to six blind positions. All positions can be fine-tuned or deleted separately. There is a program button on the back of your remote. To program the first limit, press the down button on the front of the remote to move the roller motor to the lower limit position. Then press the programming button on the back of your remote for one second. The blind motor will jog once. Fine tune the lower limit position by tapping the up or down buttons. When you have the blinds at the desired limit position, then press the programming button on the back of the remote to save the limit position. The motor will jog once to confirm that the position is set. Now I want this blind to come all the way down and almost touch the windowsill. So therefore, I'm gonna do a fine tune. To fine tune, 
You press the button once in the back and the blind should jog. Then you adjust to the position that you want. So I'm going to try to jog it down to the proper place. One more maybe. That's perfect. Now to set that position you just press this button in the back again and it should jog and it's confirmed that it set that position. Now press the up button on the remote control to position the roller motor in the top limit position and repeat the programming process for the upper limit. While using the remote, if you find that the blind is operating in reverse, meaning that it closes when you tap the up button, you can correct the direction by holding the center stop button on the face of the remote for five seconds. The blind will then jog, then you'll want to tap the down button and the blind will jog a second time to confirm that the direction has been changed. Now there is a way to reverse it on the remote and the way to do that is to hold this down for five seconds. You'll see the blind jog and then just hit the down air and that should reverse the direction. Let's try that. So there it jogs and just hit the down arrow once. It confirms that the direction has changed. Down button is down. And it goes all the way down. Let's hit the up button now. So the direction is re reversed. As mentioned previously, the Zemi Smart folks were gracious enough to send me a solar panel. The document supplied with the solar panel stated that the panel will fully charge the roller motor following two days of full sunlight. When attempting to attach the panel's power cord to the blind motor, I realized that there was no way to connect it. The panel's power cord is equipped with a micro DC power adapter. However, the roller motor has a micro USB port, so I needed an adapter to supply solar power to the motor. I purchased a micro DC to micro USB adapter on Amazon. This adapter enabled me to connect the solar panel power supply to the blinds motor. Now since our kitchen faces to the west, my wife requested that I have the blinds set to close 30 minutes before sunset and then open again at sunrise. So I made two separate automations to accomplish these actions one for sunrise and the second for sunset. So let me wrap this up by giving you some of my final thoughts and recommendations. First of all, do I like this blind? Absolutely, I love this blind. My wife is extremely happy with the blind as well. It's attractive, reliable, and very quiet when opening and closing. It can be controlled by the SmartThings app. With my Echo devices, Alexa open blind. Or with the provided remote control. Do I recommend this product? Absolutely I do. Is the product for all smart home enthusiasts? It depends. If you're an experienced smart homeowner with some extra cash, then this is a must have in my book. However, if you're a smart home beginner who is looking for an out of the box plug and play solution, then this product is probably not for you. This solution requires some knowledge for installing custom device handlers and may not be suitable to the faint in heart. I also do not recommend this product for the cost conscious buyer. The cost of these blinds is still somewhat prohibitive for the average smart home owner, particularly if you are planning to equip more than a couple of windows. You can save some cash by purchasing Zemi Smart's roller blind motors and installing them into your existing roller blinds. If you intend to purchase blinds for this particular motor size, you'll need to purchase 38 millimeter hollow aluminum roller blinds. Such roller blinds will accommodate the motor size found in the Zemi Smart model AM25-ZB-FB. 
So that's a wrap on the Zemi Smart Zigbee Roller Blind. I trust you found today's episode helpful. If you'd like to review or purchase these attractive blinds, just check out the links that accompany this video. Until next time, keep automating and God bless.